Ryan and Frank's Big Day Out. Thomas and Ryan are both tank engines. They, they have buffers at the front and coal bunkers at the back. They, and they both have branch lines. Thomas's bran branch line is with Annie and Clarabelle, and, Ryan, and Ryan's branch line was at Harwick. Together, the two, the two were mixed traffic engines and they enjoy working on the Fat Controllers Railway. One morning, the Fat Controller came to see Thomas and Ryan in the sheds. He had some important news. Thomas, I would like you to take some more holiday makers to the, to the seaside and the town, he said, and, they will be, and you will bring them back home at tea time. Yes, sir said Thomas. Then he turned to Ryan. I have a special job for you, Ryan. I would like you to take some pipes to the factory. Yes, sir, said Ryan, and Ryan puffed away. After that, Ryan had already collected his pipes from Brendan Dock and was off to the factory. Soon, he went up Gordon Hill to the Sodor Suspension Bridge and to the Action Canyon. Then he was on his way to Shen Valley. When he arrived at the factory, Ryan's pipes were already delivered and wait and next to Ryan was Frank. He looked unhappy. Hello, Frank, said Ryan cheerfully. What's the matter? Frank, Frank, Frank was, was still unhappy by the time Ryan got here. Uh, my engine's broken, he said. It never works anymore like it used to, he said. Driver says I have to, I have to go to the mender's yard. He said. Then, then Ryan had an idea. Excuse me, he asked Ryan. He asked Frank's driver and fireman. Can I take Frank to the mender's yard? Frank is a very heavy engine, said Frank's driver. So be very careful. Yes, sir. I'll try, said Ryan eagerly. Moments after. Frank was loaded onto a flatbed truck to the mender's to the mender's yard, and after Ryan finished his jobs, he was coupled to the flatbed, and and before he and before he could set off, Frank's driver Frank's driver had to tell Ryan, this, be careful when you're pulling Frank on this flatbed truck. The coupling itself is very old, so be extra careful. I will, said Ryan, and he puffed away, uh, and he puffed away. Soon, soon, Frank was still mourning. I sometimes don't like going to the mender's yard, he said. Ryan looked unhappy. He wanted to cheer Frank up. Then I'll show you around. We'll have a big day out, he said, and this made Frank very happy. Soon Ryan began showing Frank around the sights of Sodor. He then showed him the station docks. What do you think? He said. I don't, I don't like working at station harbours. It's too noisy for me. Ryan, Ryan was disappointed. Then he decided to show Frank another, another area. At last... He showed Frank Shen Valley with a windmill. It's beautiful, said Frank. I've never been to Shen Valley before. This made Ryan very happy. Next, he was going to he was going to show Frank the Action Canyon. The coupling creaked, and but Ryan still decided to go on. He pulled and pulled. But 
then there was trouble. The coupling snapped between the flat Ryan and the flatbed truck. Help! cried Frank. Somebody help! But no one heard him. Frank went over a siding and came derailed on a ditch. Just then, Ryan raced in and stopped. This is all my fault, he complained. I was supposed to take you to the mender's yard. Now the, now my jobs will never be finished on time, she said sadly. But he was wrong. At last, Ryan pulled Frank and the flatbed truck out of the ditch and with, and with, out wasting time by showing Frank around the sites of Seldor, Ryan made up the decision to take Frank to the mender's yard. It was a hard decision, but Ryan had, but Ryan had to do it. Soon he climbed up the action canyon with his, with his big long might, and raced down. Later, Thomas was at the beach with Annie and Clarabelle watching the children playing in the sands when, Ro when Ryan puffed in. Hello, Thomas, said Ryan. How were the holiday makers? They were excited as usual, said Thomas. I see you've been working hard. They were both talking when Frank started watching the children and the seaside itself. It's beautiful said Frank. I've never been to a seaside before. I love it. Thomas and Ryan were surprised. Then Ryan told, told Thomas all about Frank's engine problem and the mender's yard. All right, said Thomas. I'll see you later. I hope Frank gets mended at the mender's yard. Goodbye, Thomas, shouted Ryan and Frank and they were all gone. At last, Ryan took Frank to the mender's yard. Then he had a plan of his own. I'll come back and I'll show you the seaside later, said Ryan, and he puffed away, leaving Frank at the mender's yard. This made Frank feel very happy. After Frank was mended and fixed at the mender's yard, Ryan then took Frank to the seaside once again. Then Frank started watching the waves, waves brushing, in, brushing through the suns and the children still playing and horses, run, and horses being right, and horses still being given rides on to children. Frank was, Frank was very happy. He smiled. He was still smiling. I, I like the seaside, said, said Frank happily. I'm glad you do, said Ryan. Perhaps we could have a big day out again, he said. Frank was very happy. This was the best day out ever, he said. And both he and Ryan were very happy as they have been in their lives.